Hey guys, I was just installing some mods um, into my Minecraft folder and I have encountered an an error. Um, this is an error you might get if you install a lot of mods. Uh, basically it's a block ID conflict. Um, if you look here, you've got loads of technical jargon, all of this you can ignore. Basically, this is the bit you want. Red power core, that's important. Block ID 250 is occupied by um, the machine block. Uh, so I need to resolve this conflict. Uh, the way I like to do this is if you go into your mods folder, um, it's block ID, so it's IC2, so should we just uninstall IC2? Um, oh. ah. And then launch Minecraft again. Okay, we've succeeded in launching Minecraft, so just create a new world, world name, let's call it test. I'm not actually going to do anything in this world, I'm just using it to see what free slots we've got. So you're going to need not enough items for this, or I think too many items might work, I haven't actually used it before. Um, but once you get in, you want to open up your inventory. Hello, future me here, and um, I've just... Okay, so if you can't see your block IDs, you need to... Um, change this setting, or oh, showing is probably what you want, um, and if you go in here and you go uh, show unused block IDs then you'll get um, all of this which is very useful um, so just realise that after I finished recording and came back to let you guys know. And then on the side here you'll notice that you have all your uh, like sort of like yeah, that 5292 there is the block ID. Um, if you go through, you'll see that oh, from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all up way up to like quite high are all taken. And then from 62, okay, it's fine. These are all vanilla blocks. So from 124, then 136. There's a small space there. Basically, you want to find a big space to stick stick all the um, industrial craft stuff. Hang on. Those I thought those were industrial craft. Oh well. Uh, I'm guessing they're build craft. So um there's a small space there as well. Probably not big enough. Hundred and eighty nine, hundred and seventy one, hundred and eighty nine, two hundred and seven. Okay, I'm gonna find a nice big space and then I'll come back. Okay, from rubber wood to mining well we've got from hundred and forty three to hundred and fifty. So if we go into um, your dot minecraft go config ic2 you'll see that you've got a bunch of things here um, so it was this block here that was conflicting so let's change that to uh, what was it 144 144 uh, I don't think anything else will be here so 144 Okay, so then you go file, save, um, save and quit, and then you uh, grab your industrial craft mod, and then um, hope that this would work. So you try and launch Minecraft, and it may conflict again with a different uh, block ID, but hopefully we've resolved the machine block one. Okay, um, it appears that block ID 145 is now conflicting with Buildcraft transport legacy block. The um, thing about legacy blocks is you don't need them. So if we go to your dot minecraft and then go to buildcraft and then go to config um, buildcraft uh, let's just go legacy load legacy pipes you want to turn this to false and that should free up some blocks and then if we rerun Minecraft neat trick I just figured out is um, red powers and auto assign thing so if you delete red powers config file it will re auto assign all its things if you launch Minecraft again it has worked so uh, what that did is it just um, made uh, red power look for some new um,
block IDs rather than just trying to use the ones that it's got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the rest of the mods without, and then delete Red Power's uh, config thing, and hopefully it will work. Okay, I've got all of them except Forestry to install. So um, if we go single player, we should be able to find some block IDs to stick everything in Forestry in. What's confusing me is it's saying 4000 odd, which is not block ID range. That's like item ID range. Hmm. Okay, now that you're in game, you can do what I did last time and just search for some places to stick the forestry items. Um, I'm going to do that off camera, and I think I will just. So you can stay in game, and you can go into your um, into your into your Minecraft folder and go to uh, where would, would it be under config forestry um. okay so if you open these with a notepad I think well I'm opening it with notepad plus plus it probably would work with notepad as well let's check that select a program from a list uh, notepad yeah, so it works with Notepad. Um, then you can start changing these block IDs. Uh, so I think, hang on, redstone lamp one two four, cobblestone cover one three six. So let's go into here. So it was at one two four. So go one two five, one two. Oops, one two six, one two seven. Hang on. This one that was the problem, so Alright, let's just do them all. One, two, eight. Okay, I've gone from one two five to one three five, so it's one two five to one three five with the free slots there. So I'm gonna go look for another a uh, couple of free slots. One nine two and then two oh seven, so there's a decent gap there. So I'll just change this to one nine three and one nine four. Save that. And then, uh, well, we can try that. That might not work because I haven't looked at the other things. So, if uh, forestry, and we go backpacks, pipes, see if pipes has got any blocks. Hmm. Okay, I'll just, I don't think there's any blocks in these ones. Uh, okay, yeah, sure, that should be fine. And um, we'll just copy over. Forestry and the NEI uh, plugin, and there we go. We got Minecraft to work. You can just circumvented all those uh, block IDs by well, yeah. So we got that all working. So I hope that helps. As you can see, we've got all the um, forestry items now in between. Uh, yeah, so in between those two things. Um, problem is, we got a bunch sort of randomly. I can't remember where we put them, but. Somewhere over here, we got some random forestry items. Anyway, I hope that guys helps, and I'll I hope that helps you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.